Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 40th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a new service on Patreon, which is a signal service. And for those that want the daily signals from to enter this market for sell or buy, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon profile and you can find the links below in this video. So let's get to it. So first of all, the US dollar index appreciated significantly today, and that had an enormous effect on most of these currency pairs. If you can see that the uh, Great British Pound, the US dollar um, is at minus 0 0.53. We broke down quite significantly below the 50 moving average all the way down towards 1288, where we found support. But we rallied, and um, at this point, it is quite mixed where we're going to go, because indicators are basically all around the place. Um, so it's not easy to say. It is basically just wait to see what, what is going to happen here. If you look at the MACD, it's crossing the signal line. RSI is completely flat. The, uh, the CCI is pointing to lower levels. The stochastic is pointing to higher levels, and the Bollinger Band is basically showing that we are about to go higher. So the MACD, CCI are comparable, while the, uh, the Bollinger Band and the stochastic are comparable, and those are showing completely different things. So at this point, I would just stay away from this market. We need a clear signal that we're coming past the 50 moving average in order to go higher, and then we'll find resistance here, and we'll find resistance there. If we break below this, then we're going to have to take out these lows at 1288, um, and that opens the door to the 300 moving average at 1278, uh, uh, and then the 200 moving average here at 1266. So before we see a clear signal here, this is not a market I'm going to trade. I'm just going to stay far away from this. So US dollar yen, we broke down quite significantly. We are getting very close to this lower trend line. At this point, we are rallying towards the, um, the 20 exponential moving average. We have the 40 exponential moving average above and the 50 moving average, and then this upper trend line. We are in a downward channel. We have been in this channel since March or beginning of April. And at this point, we are right in the middle of the channel. We need a significant break to the upside in order to sell or a significant break to the downside, which we nearly got today. So, but at this point, I think we are going to go higher. I think we're going to go towards the 50 moving average before going lower. The reason why I say that is because the signal, the technical indicators are indicating that we are going to go higher. We are nearly oversold. The MACD is turning around, CCI is turning around, and the, the stochastic is turning around. So probably not a lot of movement tomorrow, depending on, for example, the US dollar index. But uh, in the coming trading days, we'll most likely head towards the 50 moving average. That is your technically your selling opportunity for this this market because the 50 moving average has been very very resilient in this uh, for a very long time so euro us dollar we broke down really hard and it is due to the, uh, to the fact that the us dollar index has appreciated today significantly so we almost hit the lows the previous lows here we didn't really get uh, all the way down to those levels, but the indicator indicators for the euro US dollar are not looking very good. We can, if you look at the Bollinger Band first, we have crossed the lower part of the Bollinger Band, and usually when that happens, you can actually do that for several days like there. But usually, what happens is that you have a little bit of pullback. So if we get that. I doubt it because the MACD, the RSI, the CCI, and the stochastic are all pointing to lower levels in this market. The next lows here are here 11.61, and then we had to go all the way down to the 250 moving average at 11.52. 
there's no reason to to expect a rally in this market. Um, a pullback is if we have a pullback, we will find significant resistance here at 100 moving average at 11.70.73. So Aussie dollar, US dollar. This was one of my trades today, and um, technically I entered it too early. I should have entered it here, but I entered it too early. And um, yes, I did not expect the US dollar to uh, appreciate as much as it did. And um, yes, that was that was my technically my mistake. If I entered it here, then this would have been a very good trade because I do believe that we are going to head towards the 50 moving average. We rallied up above the 100 moving average and that is a very clear signal that we are going to turn around here and head towards the 50 moving average and not break below the 150 moving average. Technical indicators for this market are, well, fairly mixed. Stochastic is flat. The MACD is uh, signaling that we most, uh, the Bollinger Band, I mean, sorry, Usually, when it hits the lower part, it pulls back to the uh, to the twenty moving average, which is around here. And uh, if you look at the MACD, is it is very uh, fairly negative. The, so, uh, the RSI is fairly negative, but we are in nearly oversold position, and that means that we most likely will turn around at some point. Probably not in tomorrow's session. But on Monday's or Tuesday session, that is probably going to be the case that we're going to see uh, a, a, a rally similar to this. No interest in basically selling this at, the, at this moment. This is a market that most likely will stay in between the 50 and the 150 moving average. So, US dollar, Canadian dollar. This was one of my trades as well today. And uh, yes, I entered it too early as well because I should have ended it here. I did not expect this market to, uh, to rally as much, but the US dollar index did rally significantly today and that affected this market as well. At this point, this is not looking uh, very promising. We found uh, resistance here at uh, 13.39 and we pulled back quite significantly towards 100 uh, moving average. A break below the 100 moving average opens the door to these lows here. And, and in the fairly medium term, I do believe that we are going to head towards this uh, downward channel again. We can look at the technical indicators. They are all showing that we are basically going to turn around here. We are way past the top of the Bollinger Band. This was, yeah, it's basically a blowout. And... Of course, we have this massive pullback. We are having the stochastic turning around. We have the uh, RSI turning around. And also the uh, CCI looks like it's going to turn around here. So the only indicator that is really bullish is the MACD. So I'm not interested in basically buying this. I am a seller in this market because I know that there is a lot of resistance above and not a lot of support underneath. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button, hit the like button and the bell button, and head over to our Patreon channel in order to get our, um, our uh, signal service. Good luck and thank you very much.